Sandy and I recently conducted our sexual integrity class up at the prison and uh, as all the inmates came in and took their seats in the chapel we had them read Genesis 1 and 28. Genesis 1 and 28 is a scripture where God commands us to be fruitful and to multiply and to have dominion over all the earth and I was illustrating and trying to point out to them that uh, our dominion is directly related and associated to our sexuality. There is a connection. And I got to thinking about it and I raised up my hand to them and I said, there's a band on my finger, there's a wedding band here. What does this make me? And uh, one of the men, the younger guys, jumped up and said, well that makes you a prisoner. And he tried to laugh about it, but I quickly responded and said, if this makes me a prisoner, then this makes me a prisoner of my wife's love, affections, loyalty, and trust. And the likewise, is the contrary is true also. She's also a prisoner of my love, affections, loyalty, and trust. And I said, that's a great place to be. But getting back to the point, this makes me a husband. What's a husband? And I said, how many of you in here are married? And about half the men raised their hands. And I said, how long have you been married? 17 years, 20 years, 8 years, 5 years. And the other guys, I said, uh, you guys are single. Have you ever been married? And most of them said, no. I said, but do you tend to get married? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, that's going to make you a husband. What's a husband? We all have some experience of what a husband is. We've seen him or we've been one. And I uh, asked the guy who'd been married 17 years, you're a husband, you've got 17 years of experience on your belt, what's a husband? And he said, well, it's a comforter, it's an encourager, it's a nurturer. I said, well, those are things a husband can do, but what's the literal definition of a husband? He didn't know. And I, I had to confess to him at that point, up until 10 years ago, I didn't know this stuff either. And uh, I told him what I, what I found out when I looked at that word, I found out husband is a compound word. Hus and ban. Hus is a German word for house. Band is something that keeps things together. And I said, uh, uh, imagine those giant wine barrels that we've seen in movies or commercials or magazines. The giant wooden wine barrels. And they've got these large metal bands wrapped around the wood. And I said, what happens if we take those bands off the uh, barrels? And all the men got it right away. They said, well, the barrels fall apart. I said, that's right. Um, if a man is supposed to be the band around the house, what happens when you take the band off of a house? And all the men knew well, the house falls apart. I said, that's right. Is it any wonder today why our homes and our families are falling apart? Because hus bands are, are falling apart themselves. They're absent, they're void. And the, I let this settle in. And I just want you to remember, men especially, that a hus band is the band around the house. It's your job to keep that home together and intact. There's a mantle of leadership placed on you hus bands to do this. Philippians 4.8 also says, Think on these things.